just bought a trailer for the John boat. Gonna go home and put some parts on it, some lights and whatnot, and get it rigged up. I picked up these waterproof trailer lights at Rural King, and I'm gonna throw them on my trailer. The Optronics, it's a kit. And what it comes with are the two lights, directions, one of these, and the wiring harness, and the bag, hardware. All right, so we're starting at the tongue of the trailer. This is where your connector is gonna be. Here's your connector. There is what it looks like, three poles and a hole. You've got your ground wire. This is white wire right here. You're gonna attach that to the frame of the trailer. And they have these wires color-coded to indicate what side of the trailer each wire goes to. The yellow and brown wire is gonna be your driver's side tail light, and the green and brown wire is gonna be your passenger side tail light. So I went ahead and stretched the wires all the way out. I gave you plenty of wire to work with, more than enough for this little trailer. The lights are color-coded the same way yellow and brown for the driver's side, green and brown for the passenger side. They also have a ground wire, each of the lots that you're gonna to have to attach to the trailer. So the directions say to run the wires along the bottom of the trailer and it provides clamps to clamp the wires to the bottom of the trailer. But what I'm gonna do is run the wire in the trailer, in the tubing. It's got holes already drilled out to do so. So driver's side, passenger side. I'm going to run it through here and out the back and I'm going to do that by running uh, a fish tape wire through the back forward and then pulling the wires back through. I picked this up at Harbor Freight a couple years back uh, for a very similar project and it's a handy tool. I'm going to start here on the driver's side at the base of the tongue here and I'm going to run the fish tape in this hole out the front. So I got that wire through. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with the green and brown wire. All right, so here we are. Got yellow and brown on the driver's side, green and brown on the passenger side. And I'm gonna run that fish tape from the back up to this point and do the same process. I've got way too much wire excess coming out of the back, so I'm going to cut the wire and shorten it up a little bit. That way I don't have such a mess. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wire it up before I mount the light on the trailer. So you mount yellow to yellow, brown to brown, and then the white wire, you just connect that to the trailer. That's the ground. I took a wire wheel and uh, grinded off some paint right there. That way it has a metal connection. All right, got that wired up. It's horribly ugly, but that's what the kit came with, those wire connectors. Uh, so that's that. I'm gonna take the ground and just use a bolt and bolt it to the trailer. The driver's side light comes with a uh, clear spot along the bottom here. The uh, one thing I had was a license plate holder and it goes on there and this is supposed to shine down on the license plate. So make sure you put the light with a clear bottom uh, on the driver's side. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the ground. I'm just using a little bolt and nut. Uh, I'm not gonna use a washer on this side because I don't want any more offset in this direction to go behind that lot and push it out. So I'm just gonna thread that through there.
All right, now I'm gonna mount the lock. Uh, two square headed bolts that slide in the back. And I'm actually not gonna put the license plate holder on there just because it makes it come out at an angle. And I don't need a license plate for a trailer in Kentucky, so no harm there. Cleaned it up a little bit there. I had all kinds of wires hanging out. I can't do anything about the ground wire, but I tucked the other wires up into the rail. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just got everything hooked up. Everything seems to be working good. This is the end result. It's ugly, but it works job done. I had to trim this up. I had to trim this up right here. This was all covered in plastic right here. It wouldn't fit into the slot because the slot's also covered in plastic. It works. I added this new winch on there from Harbor Freight. Along with a jack, and the trailer's done. Just gotta wait on the boat, get the boat finished.